like to talk about is that values matter. What do we stand for as a person, as a leader? Values define our brand and it's extremely important we are clear about what are our values and we stand by them at all times. The second is about agility, the speed. And when I talk about agility, it's about your thinking agility, your action agility, uh, all of that. You will face multiple situations in the part of your day-to-day -day work. There are ambiguous situations, there are situations for which you may not have an immediate answer. But are you able to respond to them with speed? Do you have an option B in place always? Am I picking up quick learnings and getting back matters a lot? The third important piece that determines your success is your network. The network of people that you know that you can go to at all times. Your network within the organization, outside the organization matters a lot. The ten tenets is such a beautiful, powerfully thought out concept. Let me start with empathy. Empathy can really redefine you as a person. Are you reaching out to people with empathy matters a lot. Second is about integrity. So at all times, you know, are you focusing on integrity? Integrity typically we understand as financial integrity, which is very, very important. But I'm also talking about integrity from the perspective of, are you aligned in your thoughts, feelings and action? Are you doing the right thing when no one is watching? The third one is technology and innovation. And in fact, if you look at the 10 tenets, it beautifully says that mastering technology is not an option. It is an imperative for survival and success for disruptive growth and innovation. I would like to go back to the agility piece that I spoke about. Innovation, the context of a work wherein we need to rethink all the time. I cannot be stuck. Am I reimagining myself? Am I reimagining my work? Am I reimagining my projects? All of this is not possible without innovation. In my role, I definitely have to emphasize on capability. What are the differentiating capabilities that will make me and the organization successful? We say that it is learning and continuous learning which determines your success and that learning cannot be powerful, impactful if it doesn't sharply focus on capabilities. I'm proud to say that I'm a second termer in Reliance. In my first stint, I was a very young learning professional, didn't have much exposure into the field, but the kind of projects that the organization trusted me with, so trust is the tenet that I'm talking about here. Never was a question asked about, can she do it? Does she carry the experience for that? For instance, we were coming up with a huge training center in Nagpur, wherein the capabilities needed were very, very different. It's about civil engineering capabilities, it's about program management capabilities, but the organization trusted me with that. Second was also a huge learning intervention. We talk a lot about upskilling and reskilling now, but in Reliance we did reskilling way back in 2006-2007. A massive reskilling effort that the organization trusted me with. If the organization had not trusted me with those opportunities, I don't think I would be where I am. If you look at a learning and development agenda, we have uh, realigned it completely to the tenet. For example, if you look at one of our important leadership development programs, Step Up, which is a transition capability building program, uh, the, the curriculum there is aligned to the tenet. Not just that, we also set up master classes so that you know there is perfect clarity uh, with, uh, with our uh, participants, with our employees. So at one end is is a senior leaders that I'm talking about. At another end. We had a set of 1,200 GTs, graduate engineering trainees, joined the organization recently. We, we were hosting the event on a very beautiful uh, virtual platform, which was Geo Events. One of the kiosks set up there was in Tentanet, so that as a youngster, as he or she comes into the organization from day one, they are oriented to Tentanet. If you look at a functional technical capability building, multiple of that is clearly aligned to our, the technology capital that we have as a part of our Tentanet. We also focus in a big way around building uh, awareness, understanding around latest technologies. We have multiple initiatives that we run for that. And also the community engagement bits. While a foundation does phenomenal amount of work, we also partner with foundation during our annual Spectrum event, which is an important initiative that happens uh, in learning and development. We partner with foundation team and also uh, offer uh, Something like volunteering opportunities, not just for our employees, but also for their families. Now, when we look at aspects like empathy, uh, trust, people is one of the first capitals that we talk about. Now, the complete focus of when you look at a diversity and inclusion agenda, it's about 
how can we leverage the power of diversity so that everyone in the organization experiences inclusion okay so this is where you know the, the beauty of reliance is that we, we are a very diverse organization that we all come from different cultural backgrounds we speak different languages and going on when we talk about gender diversity when we talk about generational diversity working uh, with people with disabilities in all these areas the focus on empathy respect uh, focus on people focus on relationships becomes very very important without which inclusion really cannot come alive many of them become very very important enablers for a diversity agenda this booklet and tenants wherever i go be it a site be it a regional office that i am in i always see this booklet so it's accessible to people so pick it up and what i would say is reflect on it it's but take a step back what does each one of it mean to me